will command from full back. They're underway, Backwards. and it's into the hands of Hartbury. A bit of a juggle, but That's a regather. Well, raring to go and across the halfway line. Hartbury surge for the first time. A good carry engaging. Green and white shoulders. And that's Amy Dell, not mentioned in the team run out because she gets her own banner. A hat trick in last year's final. Unearth a taster day at Hartbury. What a find. And what a find this girl is. Lucia Scott surging down the right flank, looking to link up, and she won't need the support. A bit handy because Lucia Scott has ghosted through Exeter's defence with just a minute on the clock. Hartbury striking in a flash. Wonderful take up high from Steph Else. And the red driving more machine cracks into gear. Oh, bursting through the heart. This time, surely. Exeter can hold out no longer. Hartbury have their second. It's not that big a leap to the highest height of the game. And it's not too big a leap for Harbury who gather it at the front of the second attempt and then they engage the rest of the pack to wind into gear and drive to the line. Try number three. Into defensive duties. Looks like Bradley's gone to the wing. Make sure you're not closing. But it's all about the forward defence here. It's all about the pack fronting up to this green machine which is beginning to sense the yes. whitewash close. Summers called upon to use the ball just perilously around the line. Celebrations from the Exeter girls. And EURC celebrate. They're across the line, they're on the board. Another try scorer, three for Hartbury in this first half. Russell, so difficult to tackle, so powerful, you, so low slung. Charlie Manns looks all class, so does Scott. The slick hands of Hartbury, the try in the corner. Uh, sorry, a red foot in touch before try scored, so for me it's a line. Perfect. No try. Okay, thank you. We've got out in touch, line out to green. Oh, Sarah hunter S. she was described to me as, oh, there goes Kibble. Looking to dart through the heart again, just as she did from the driving wall in the first half. Hartbury. The rat-a-tat-tat -tat of red studs. Release Exeter! On the Exeter doorstep. Russell, hit hard, but she rides the tackle Release and keeps now. on powering. They still keep it tight, but Georgia Brock squirms free from the hit. And then was a white line seeking missile. Hartbury build a drive. Could this Don't be your bind, so we want. the closing score to seal another championship? They're repelled. Mans, who's been power, she's been footwork, Release she's been precision, out, takes Hartbury to within two meters. Again, Hartbury search to the line, wrestling, riding, seeking white chalk. And making it to the line. <laughs> Hannah Kibble. It was five, five years ago. Hold! Yes. Well, with that added experience of that added power coming from Thomas, Exeter go on a roll from the 22. They go on more than a roll. They're rocking. They're rolling. There's. 14 of 15 EURC women in there. Who's at the nucleus? Who's got the ball? Do they reach the line? Just shy. They're short from the dark and go to the blind side. And Lottie Dad stops down. That is not something you see too often. All the numbers out to the right hand side, but they go direct through Roach. This time into Scott's hand. The elusive, the slippery Scott. Just about repelled. Again, miraculous defence from Exeter. Hartbury, back to their big players. Short, point blank range. Again, looking to wrestle their way across the line. 
Red jerseys queuing up. Priestnell to Hendy. Still the Exeter defence, so stubborn, so committed. But finally, it's breached. It can't hold up to the intense attacking scrutiny of the champions anymore. The heartbreak, claim it from the skies. The red jerseys pour in before the big boot of Sophie Davies blasts the ball across the touchline. And Q, an outpouring of heartbreak women in red, an outpouring of ecstasy. Harbury University, the Women's National League champions, 2023.